Hey everybody, Derek here with Addictive Tips. So in this video, we're gonna talk about recovering data with PhotoRec. So if you're interested in a more in-depth explanation as to how this works, there is a companion article which will be in the description of this video and it will also be maybe linked, so you'll see it. But what I want you to do is I want you to open up a terminal. Now, it really doesn't matter what version of Linux you're using, PhotoRec comes with the same package. So on my operating system, I use Arch Linux. Now I can go and do and do that. I can do sudo pacman s test disk. And now that will give me PhotoRack. So as you can see, this reinstalled. So now all I got to do is get a root shell, and then I can do PhotoRack. Now I have four hard drives. I have an SSD. I have a Samsung hard drive. And these two are where my Windows and Linux installs are. And then I have two data drives. So when recovering data, what you want to do is you want to select the drive that you're going through. So I'm going to go and recover some data from my Western Digital SSD. Cut that. I'll do another try. So I'm going to edit. Hold on. So I'm going to recover some data from Dev SDC. And this is my Western Digital one terabyte drive. So what I do is I use the arrow keys and I select dev SDC, I press the enter key. Now it knows if there is either one partition here, because this is the active partition, or I can do the whole disk. And this means it'll access every single hard drive partition. Seeing as how there's only one partition here, it's just faster to select this one. So I'll click search. Now I know since this is a Windows data drive, I should select other because the top one here, that is for Linux file systems. And of course, this hard drive isn't using Linux, so I'll select this one. So this will scan unallocated free space. So this right here will scan deleted files and deleted blocks that are no longer accessed. But this option here will scan everything, every absolutely everything. So in terms of fast recovery it's better to select free but in terms of you know the most thorough it's best to select whole so it really depends and of course this is a windows specific feature so if you're using linux you won't need to come into contact with this but suffice it to say just select free for the fastest just press c at the top one here and that'll just do everything and then of course there goes the file system analysis and this will take quite a long time as you can see it says 52 hours. Now it's already discovered a couple of files here. So let's go up in the file manager. And as you can see, I have recup.dir. So now this is showing me all of my recently recovered and deleted files from this hard drive because uh, I've had data there before. So I can let this go for the three hours it's going to take and things will just keep showing up in these directories and folders named recop.dir. But I can also just click stop because let's say all I really wanted to find was uh, this picture right here. So now I've recovered my picture and of course it's in my home directory so I can save it and I can open it and I can do whatever I want. And my picture is right here. And everything in this directory is recovered. All my music thumbnails that for some reason I wanted to save. And uh, that's how you use PhotoRec, guys. And uh, just a quick recap. Don't know why I opened that. Quick recap. You install it. Then you run a root shell. Then you run this command to run PhotoRec. You can continue the session. And then you just select a hard drive. So once again, I can select this uh, Linux disk that I have, the Barracuda. I can select the whole disk, or I can select the partition. I select the file system. Then I select the directory and uh, let it go. And then it'll show up in a directory similar to this. So guys, I hope you learned something. Uh, these videos are going to be fun to make for me and I can explain a little bit more about how Linux works. So I will see you in the next one.